switch animations, they change from the show to the movies, uh Feel like the Perrican, who wanna fight with me? I take them out with this two-piece, uh Who's out they cabin when they say they want me? They gon' see my crew, now they losing, ya. Uh. I be with this shit, we can throw down gear for a goddamn shirt Let it find out, PJ, cause I'm cold Ready anytime my fist like white beer, earthquake hands Even weak in the bones, ace with the fist, five scar Run, I pull up on my ledger when I scrap, bitch, you leave him alone Yo, what's up guys, it's OP Mamba, so for today's video, we got top 10 defenders in the current meta, so like the last video, without wasting any time, let's get into it. So for my number 10 spot, I have uh, Blackbeard, now let me let me say something before I get started, you know, you, you know I'm a Blackbeard simp, a fan, whatever you want to call me, but I'm telling you bro, this man is legit still pretty good after two years bro. I'm telling you, do not sleep on this man. His skill one can still pull people, you know. It's goaded and he does more uh, damage to Devil Fruit user, which is half the meta. Uh, so, you know, you can already see where I'm going with that. Skill two is still goaded. Uh, you know, you literally cannot dodge this. You can only dodge this if you if you are a Kainu or Sabo when you're in your, like a skill two state. Uh, so yeah, skill two is still awesome. Skill one, you can also pull people so say like someone's trying to so like ordinary amateurs trying to get the flag you can just use a skill one pull them out or skill two stop the cap so i'm telling you blackbeard is not like bad at all still after two years man it's actually crazy so can you just imagine the v2 like how insane he's gonna be but yeah he i think he definitely deserves top 10 spot uh i did not definitely put him because uh i definitely did not put him just there because i'm a blackbeard simp but i really think he truly deserves that spot because he's still good even after two years all right for my number nine spot i have onigashima luffy now oni luffy um you know he is still a pretty good defender but um the the bad thing is this skill too you know how is a percent damage so like on the meta right now um ex luffy yamato kaido they all get heal when getting person damage so so you use the skill 2 on luffy kaido or yamato you're just basically giving them free hp so and those three characters that i mentioned earlier are literally running the meta so that's why he fell off you know but he's still good can you uh, hold on let me say something believe it or not onigashima luffy is still the best defender we have in this game like green is slacking really bad on defenders so onigashima luffy is still the best green defender uh other is probably sent tomorrow and he's a step up so we need like a new good green bonifest defender so yeah skill one rio is still good and it gives uh attack debuff so you can debuff roger a kainu even dofi and all that so you know it's great skill two is still annoying um like i said other than those three characters kairo ex luffy and yamato you can just uh you know the skill two still goes crazy because it has a lot of hits so you know and it does a lot of damage too so he's great you know still a good very good defender but in my opinion he did fall off from before but that was my number nine when you all right for my numbers eight spot i have a uh, judge so he's a new bounty fest recently came out so in my opinion judge is really underrated people really sleep on him they be like oh he's trash he's trash but no honestly he's not bad at all because um this skill one the one where he spawns reju um you know people always forget like she's there and she's just like keeps on doing her poison kiss so that does a lot of damage i have faced against the judge and he was annoying as hell uh so the raju skill does a lot of damage you get hit and this skill too is also a pretty good skill um it has shock also so yeah gotta watch out for that the traits um he's like a mini onigashima kid but he's not toxic as kid so he has the trait where um where i'm trying to find the trait so it's basically if you get knocked back you get hp recovery back so one hit with knockback by enemy recovery hp by 30 percent attack booster by 30 percent for 10 seconds so yeah that's pretty damn good all right then um and and the other thing is that judge can actually like uh beat up on ex luffy the ex luffy like the pirate king luffy so yeah he's a pretty good defender but 
people really sleep on him because you know they i guess they just don't like judge as a whole character but trust me judge is pretty good and the skill is like it does shit ton of damage believe me i fought against that so yeah judge in number eight all right for my number seven spot i have mace or oracle whatever you want to call him so he's definitely still a very good character uh defender still um and he got uh like a what's it called a boost bef uh, what's it called not boost but buff um so i think he got like more damage reduction and when holding this skill too he's gonna uh get more damage uh, buff like damage reduction buff so that's really good i mean that's always a good thing you know getting more damage buff for a defender that that's always good so um what else can i say skill one is the shield it's still very annoying um the thing i noticed for mace is that on some maps he does really like very very good in some other maps he kind of does okay so i guess you would kind of say he's kind of map dependent but i don't think that kind of like it doesn't completely make him a bad character like some other characters but yeah skill 2 is also pretty good pretty long range uh, does okay damage so one of the main uh, thing for uh, mace is that he does absolutely no damage so you just want to probably run full hp and defense probably no attack or something like that so yeah uh mace at number seven okay for my number six spot i have the big buddha aka sengoku now saying goku after the buff now this man got crazy he got crazy buffs probably one of the best buffs out there so um on this skill excuse me on skill one um he does like a lot of uh hits you know has a knockback and let me go through his traits real quick um where's the traits at uh so it's like he basically is like a blue garp a blue prime garp but more like uh juicy pause um so let me see where if i can find this when you knock back an enemy recover hp by 15 percent and reduce the cooldown time of skill one by 15 percent and uh by the way skill two is also really awesome it's like a meteor that comes out and he can recover hp by doing this so it's a really nice skill um skill one is also pretty good but i'll say maybe focus on the skill two because you can get hp recovery back um the other thing is he got like a lot of good traits and stuff like that so um you know if i go over like whatever he got new it would probably be like a long video <laughs> so i'll just say uh he's like a good a uh, more beefed up prime garp with heals age uh, attack uh damage all that defense and his normals is so quick also like he can do one two three and go to middle with some runners so yeah he's actually insane so do not sleep on sengoku and he's my number six for my number five i have Ennis lobby robin now Ennis lobby robin is probably one of the most underrated character i would say in the game um but the other thing is when i used her on like my friend's account she was the most boring character i ever used in this whole game like i am not even capping i'm not like you know um like this he was just pure plain boring as hell like maybe it was just me but like dude i don't know she was just pure boring okay but, but uh like uh, we don't see robin that much in league i don't know why because she's so good she's literally a tank god um but i have heard that ex luffy eats up robin but ex luffy i mean who is there a character that ex luffy doesn't fucking eat up alive so but robin is still a very good uh defender uh she's tanky as hell to this day still um skill one you know it gives her hp and if you attack her when she has skill one she's just gonna get her defense stacked up so you can like can't kill her you'll do probably like one damage two damage so yeah it's actually insane um skill two is really good also it gives the opponent attack debuff and all that and um i think with this skill like um she takes opponent cooldown of their the opponent skills too but i'm not too sure but other than that bro she's still very tanky um um you know very good defender but we just don't see her in the meta i don't know why but um what else is there i was trying to oh yeah 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 the other thing is um many people like have a complaint about her is that if you get knocked back like she is like kind of um mid but like 
I don't know, honestly. I think she's pretty good, but she's just probably boring as hell for people to use. So, she's my number five, though. Definitely your sleeper. All right, for my number four spot, I have Whole Kick Island Nami. Now, Whole Kick Island Nami, she's probably one of the most uh, underrated characters like Robin, but now it's actually crazy how good nami is like she can handle almost anybody um beside maybe luffy ex luffy because you know luffy uh nullifies shocks and everything and her nami's main thing is shock and all that so the skill one let's go zeus is um so he just spawns and you can just like if you know the zeus loop then uh, I'm, I think there's some videos out there in YouTube like about his loop or whatever. I'm not too sure what's it called um, You can do that loop and you can just keep on shocking her opponent and she does a lot of damage, bro Trust me. You don't want to be fighting her, bro Like it's actually insane how good she is skill 2 also does shit ton of damage and what else is their traits? I, I mean, I've never looked at Nami trait because I don't have her obviously so all right, so skill one. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I almost forgot. She has the same thing as uh, Frankie, where you like kind of stack up your skills, like ninety percent, hundred percent, all that. But the thing with Nami is that you can just bam your normals at the air, and it gets stacked up. So that's actually insane. Um, but other than that, like look at this: re reduced damage received from attack by twenty percent. So a Kainu Roger um luffy even but i know luffy kind of messes her up i guess but i've seen some nami mess up luffy too so i guess you know it kind of depends on the player but yeah man she, uh hokey kali nami is definitely a major sleeper defender like she's really really good if you have her i really think you should level her up so but yeah she was my number four and for my number three spot i have onigashima kid now onigashima kid was the king of defenders uh you know before somebody released that in the higher up ranking uh you know but um what can i say about this dude now this guy is still toxic to this day the main thing is his fucking skill too the skill too is so freaking stupid like i don't know what band i was thinking when making this shit so it's like a little spinny cycle of uh metals and it does uh fixed damage and it's just so annoying you really can't move so like you kind of stuck there and only kid is so annoying bro because of that skill two skill one is also awesome because it has a huge knockback and yeah a knockback for a defender is pretty good oh excuse me i went to virgo all right for traits you know um he has that annoying trait when you knock him back he gets more hp recovery um so where is that trait i'm trying to see uh when hit with knockback by enemy recover HP by 30% attack boosted by 30%. So if you knock him back, he's gonna get HP recovery and boosted attack for 10 seconds. So that's actually crazy. And yeah, he has more HP recovery traits over there. So overall, Kid is just like an annoying ass defender. So and he's really tanky. But why he felt like he fell down from like top one is um, remember this one is fixed damage. So it heals Luffy, EX Luffy, Yamato, Kaido, which are running the meta, you know, right now. So that made him uh bump down a little bit and ex not i said ex dofi almost but dofi also messes up kid so yeah there's a lot of i feel like there's a lot of counter for kids nowadays but he can still be somewhat tanky and uh he can still do his defender duty and he's actually crazy to this day because of the skill two skill one and the crazy traits on hp recovery all that so yeah, Onigashima Kid at number three. Right, for my number two, I have uh, Frankie. Now, uh, Frankie, I know some people might say if Kid is better than Frankie, but no, no, that is complete cap. And if you say that, I don't know what you're doing because Frankie, this guy can mess up a Kainu really easily. He against Roger, you just honestly have to watch out for Roger's combo. Sorry, but if Roger pulls out a skill too, you can just do this right here and knock him back, and that skill is gone. So against EX Luffy, he can handle EX Luffy too. Um, so there's a mid range multiple hit. So yeah, that's why you know a Kainu three perfect dodge is easily gone because multiple hit uh, skill. General uh, General Cannon, it gives him hp recovery too so you know and he does a lot of attacks and he stacks up like uh nami but his is um you kind of have to get hit i guess 
um so yeah you kind of need to make your frankie tanky i mean his a nickname is frankie tanky so you know but the reason why he's good is uh let me see where it, where it is at he's like uh you nullify his status or something nullify his status infliction or something i don't know i forgot i really don't tr read the traits honestly i just abuse the characters man um but let me try to find it um okay when your hp is more than 50 percent remove uh reduce damage received by 30 percent down while you're down reduce the cooldown town skill one by 15 percent okay that's really good uh when in the area around you capture try to reduce damage received by 30 percent reduce damage received by runners oh yeah by runners so we can uh have you know easier time to fight odin yamato all that so that's really good and while your allies are not near the treasure area where you're at resist really stagger effect and change knockback or down effect that's really good that's really good uh reduce the effect time of status by status effects inflicted enemies by 80 percent that's actually crazy that's the trait right there reduce the effect time of status inflicted by enemies by 80 percent while attacking an enemy with skill one 50 percent recovery okay so that's the hp recovery right there while attacked by enemy 100 percent chance to increase attack with skill one by 10 percent up to so that's the percent thing i was told taking telling you about damn i can't speak but yeah skill one is uh the general cannon it's really nice skill two is really nice and i really do think frankie is uh people sleep on frankie uh because i feel like onigashi my kid is brain dead so you know uh frankie they definitely sleep on him because they feel like uh you kind of need some you need to put in some work with frankie but he's definitely up there in defender for me too and he's fun to use too like he's definitely fun to use too um so yeah he's uh number for two number one i think we all knew who number one was is ex kaido now ex kaido i know some people say oh ex kaido's players are so bad they don't know how to guard they be using kaido like a defender i mean attacker and runner but if you actually give kaido in a good player's hand and they play like a defender get that 70 percent defense buff he is literally unkillable bro you literally cannot kill him if he play if the guy plays him like a pure defender gets his 70 percent defense buff you, you literally can't kill him the only way you're killing him or if there's a roger in your team and the roger is fully stacked or something like that so yeah i mean his main problem is roger but other than that like he's a beast man skill one uh blast breath is it does multiple hit and all that so and it heals him also i'm pretty sure and it has a flame if you know uh after you hit the opponent it's just and it's a really long range attack it's like crazy range so it's really good for defender because you know you want to hit the opponent while they're getting the treasure so like you've on like e treasure or something like that and you and you want to hit somebody from mid he can do that this is your guy so skill two now this is the ultimate this is the ultimate defender skill right here now this is like the mega ultimate defender right um so no escape so this is basic basically this is say like uh your team has um like three uh what's it called four uh say four uh treasure capture right um four ca treasure capture and um it's last second of the game and you can just do this skill too right here he goes into his dragon form and shoots out bunch of fire breathe like fire uh fire blast right and it hits every single treasure area that you have capped you and your opponent have capped i'm not opponent but your team so it goes on every single flag that your team has capped so that's actually insane that is the ultimate defender move right there like that's i don't care what anybody says that that is the ultimate defender right there like imagine hitting every single treasure you have capped in the last second like you're not doing anything bro and the traits are also uh you know crazy stupid because he is an ex character so of course the traits are gonna be stupid so um but the like the uh, thing i said with kaido is that you need to play him as a defender pure defender get that 70 percent buff which you can get by filling up the extra treasure gauge on two treasures i think and yeah he's gonna be a really very very strong defender so he is the number one best defender in the whole game so 
i think this is it for the defender video let me know what you guys think about the list do you agree do you not agree should i have changed some characters ranking uh, around but yeah uh kaido number one he's definitely a crazy unit look at that creepy ass smile so yeah i'll see you guys uh on the next video uh, next video is probably gonna be something spicy so yeah see you later peace out